That is, who, who do you think are the five top bodybuilders of all time? Five top best bodybuilders of all time. Well, you have to give me five, though. In your, Ronnie, opi in your opinion. Okay, Ronnie. Ronnie, Flex, Phil, Lee Haney. Now it depends if you go if we go by what they achieved or what they my personal my personal look. Five top dead top dead are alive. What what I personally like as a physique wise or as a in your opinion, like top five, you know? Yeah. Um That's for your opinion, so whatever you think. Yeah. Kevin. Kevin and Arnold. Kevin LeBron. Kevin and Arnold. Yeah. I think it's really good that you put. But Phil Arnold, because out of respect, because I don't think Arnold, uh, well, uh, would be able to compete with the way he looked back then, today, or, or with these guys I mentioned. I just don't think he would have a chance. But he wasn't at that. They weren't at that point that back then. You know what I mean? But Arnold had no competition, so everybody puts Arnold as the greatest bodybuilder. He had the most success. But if if I have to judge my top five physiques of all time, I have to put Kevin in there right before Arnold. I think it's great that you put uh, Phil on that list because Phil gets so much like he. A lot of people dismiss him, you know what I mean? But I feel like he accomplished a lot. Phil gets a lot of hate. Phil gets a lot of hate from people, and and, and I, I, sometimes I don't get it. You I don't know get know it either. I don't get it either. I don't get I, it. Sometimes I really don't get it, and especially I don't get it from fellow bodybuilders. Listen, you don't have to like somebody's personality, but you cannot not this man's physique. I don't give a f what you say. You know what I mean? You don't have to like a person, you know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely not. But you know, it's a lot of people. They just I don't know if it's if they're jealous or if they just don't like somebody else having success, or if it's just a personal thing. But per let's take personalities out the business. You know, when we go by personalities, then people will be on top. They they will never win shows. Of course, of course. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can't judge. And then, and then, you know, people don't understand. And I remember, I met, I remember when I first met Phil, it was at the Weeder booth. It was, he just turned pro. I remember he was just happy to be with me at the booth. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, coming, it was just coming up. You know what I mean? Show respect. And he shows me respect still to this day. But I do have to understand that his career went, of course. And now all of a sudden you're Mr. Olympia, which means you're the top guy, the top dog for seven years. And I never won the Olympia, but I know how hard it could be when you go somewhere and people want to take a picture with you, which is perfectly fine. But if you're somewhere and somebody comes take a picture, you take a picture with him, now everybody gets up and wants a picture because they see you do it with him. So now you're going to tell this guy no? So now you're taking pictures for hours in the restaurant, you're out with whatever, you know what I mean? And, it, it, and as a Mr. Olympia, I think it could get to the point where you want to tell people, listen, man, I'm eating. You know what I mean? And some people just can't understand that, you know what I mean? They, they, they got to be a, listen, give this man a break. He's eating. He's trying to get his meal in. Let him, let him go. But if you say no or you tell him, listen, I'm eating, this guy's, you know, lost him as a fan. He's going to trash talk you. And that's how he goes around. But I feel like also that, that that's a good point. But I also feel like a lot of people dismissed him like his physique because I felt like for seven years he was very dominant. You know what I mean? I always just how can you dismiss a physique when I, he wins Olympia seven years? It's crazy. And how many times can you say he shouldn't have won? People said he people said he should have lost a couple of times to whoever. But that's not the point. Who? I feel like who who said he should have lost? Some people said he lost to Kai at some point, 2015, I think, and some people thought maybe Rami took. I don't know. I'm just saying people people talk, you know. But the point is, I, I don't, you know, I feel like he was dominant for seven years straight. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was dominant, absolutely. And I'm saying, and I don't have any. Me and Phil, you know, there's no business going on. <laughs> I'm just saying this from outside looking in. Exactly. Absolutely. I you agree. Know? I agree. Absolutely. And if he, were, if it wasn't for his distended stomach, he would have eight. And maybe nine. 